It's 2023, it's the year of the ODI World Cup. It's also time for India's first to three ODI series over the next couple of months as we begin preparations for the all-important ODI World Cup. After an emphatic win in the T20I series, the action moves to the longer format. everything that you need to know ahead of the ODI series. As far as the teams are concerned, for Team India, big news for the cricket fans. The big boys are back for the men in blue. Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli are back. Unfortunately, still no Jaspreet Bumrah. As far as the top order is concerned, Rohit Sharma will be back there opening the baton and in all likelihood partnering with Ishan Kishan to give us that left and right hand combination. And needless to say, with the king Virat Kohli completing the top three. Let's talk about the middle order. There's a certain KL Rahul who played a crucial knock against Bangladesh in that ODI series last year in that first game. Also, a Shreya Sire who's built quite a reputation for himself, particularly in 2022 and you cannot keep him out. And there's also a certain Surya Kumar Yadav who's in the form of his life, possibly one of the best in the business. Will he get a chance as well? And now to the all-rounders, Hardik Pandya, Washington Sundar and Aksar Patel who showed what he can do with bat and ball. Which of these three will make it to the 11? And talk about the fast bowlers. There was lots of inexperience in India's bowling squad for the T20Is but quite the opposite for the ODIs with the return of Mohammad Shami and Mohammad Siraj and the two youngsters waiting in the ranks as well in Ashdeep Singh and Umran Malik. Let's talk tactics. Who holds the key? We think Virat Kohli certainly does. He loves batting against the Lankans. He has over 2,000 runs against the Sri Lankans in this format. And a certain Shreya Sayer, who scored more runs than any other Indian batsman across the three formats in 2022. Watch out for the two of them in those middle overs. But they will have to deal with the spin of Sri Lanka. Mahesh Tikshana, Vanindu Hasaranga, Jeffrey Van Der and the part-time spin of Dananjia De Silva. Four spinners who have an economy less than five runs per over over the last couple of years in this format. That could be a very crucial passage of play. And as far as the Indian bowlers are concerned, a certain Mohammad Siraj who picked up 24 wickets for India in 2022 more than anybody else, he could well hold the key with his pace and swing. And now time for some trivia. India vs Sri Lanka. India have never lost a bilateral ODI series at home vs Sri Lanka. In fact, the last team to beat Sri Lanka in a bilateral ODI series was India in July of 2021. Trivia number two, Virat Kohli. He debuted for India in senior men's international cricket against the Sri Lankans. He in fact got his first ever half century and his first ever century against Sri Lanka in ODI cricket. Virat loves the Lankins like we mentioned and how can we not talk about a certain Rohit Sharma when we talk about India versus Sri Lanka. He scored that epic 264, the highest ever ODI score against Sri Lanka at the Eden Gardens and the second game of this series will be at the Eden Gardens. Will we see an encore? And so there we have it, Sri Lanka versus India, three ODIs. The Lankans haven't played too much ODI cricket over the last couple of years, but they are no pushovers. They beat Australia and South Africa in the last two years. And with India losing to Bangladesh in the ODIs, they certainly have a point to prove. It's time for India to get back to winning ways. It's time for ODI cricket to come back to Indian shows with one eye on the all-important World Cup.